Can 4003 be written as the sum of two square numbers? To answer this question, we're going to use modular arithmetic. So make sure you've checked out my introductory video on modular arithmetic first, as we'll be using some of the ideas from that video. So we want to find out if we can write 4003 as the sum of two square numbers. In other words, we want to find out if we can write 4003 as x squared plus y squared, where x and y are integers. So by looking at this question, initially, maybe you've got no idea whether we can do this. It could take quite a lot of trial and error to plug in different x and y values to see if we can get 4003. But what we can do is use modular arithmetic to find some information about what we would need x and y to be. The first thing we're going to notice is that 4003 is congruent to 3 modulo 4 because 4,000 is divisible by 4. So 4,003, well, you'll count 3 round on the clock. So 4,003 is congruent to 3 modulo 4. But let's say that we have these numbers, x and y, such that x squared plus y squared equals 4,003. Because x squared plus y squared equals 4,003, this means that x squared plus y squared must also be congruent to 3 modulo 4. Now, this is interesting. Let's check that that is actually possible. Is it possible to have two square numbers added together and that sum is congruent to 3 modulo 4? Because if that's not possible, then we can't write 4003 as the sum of two square numbers. Now, in modulo 4, numbers can be congruent to either 0, 1, 2 or 3. They've got four options of where they can be on the clock. So modulo 4 x and y are each one of 0, 1, 2 or 3. Now let's see what that means for what x squared and y squared are. So in modulo 4, say x or y is 0. So let's just focus on x values. So let's say x, we're going to make a table here. We're going to have x in this column and x squared in this column. So x can be either 0, 1, 2 or 3 in modulo 4. So if x is 0, x squared modulo 4 is still 0. If x is 1, x squared modulo 4 is also 1. If x is 2, x squared is 4, but that's congruent to 0 mod 4. So this is a modulo 4 table, everything we're going to reduce modulo 4. If x is 3, then x squared is 9 and that's congruent to 1 modulo 4. 9 leaves remainder 1 when you divide it by 4. So that means in modulo 4, this x squared can either be 0 or 1. It can't take any other values modulo 4. But this is exactly the same as if we did it for y. If you put y here and y squared here, y can also only take the values 0, 1, 2 and 3 in modulo 4. So y squared can also only take values 0 or 1 modulo 4. So we've shown that x squared and y squared are each either congruent to 0 or 1 modulo 4, regardless of what number they represent. Those are the only possible values for a square number modulo 4. But then x squared plus y squared can't be congruent to 3 modulo 4, because no combination of 2 of 0 and 1s add to make 3. For instance, 0 plus 1 or 1 plus 0 or 1 plus 1 or 0 plus 0, neither of these make 3. So it's impossible for x squared plus y squared to be congruent to 3 modulo 4 for any value of x and y. So this proves that 4003 cannot be written as the sum of two square numbers. So what we've done here is a proof by contradiction. We've sort of said Let's suppose that 4003 can be written as the sum of two square numbers, in which case we would have to have that x squared plus y squared is congruent to 3 modulo 4, simply because 4003 is, and these two things are equal. But then if we look at the values that square numbers can take modulo 4, it turns out that square numbers can either be 0 or 1, they can't be 2 or 3, just by looking at this table. No combination of 2 of 0 and 1s add together to make 3. So we've reached a contradiction. 
which shows it's therefore impossible to write 4003 as the sum of two square numbers. So we can use modular arithmetic to prove things as well as do calculations. You might be wondering how I knew modulo 4 would work. Well, if modulo 4 hadn't worked, we could have tried other modulos and seen if we could get a contradiction in a similar way. But actually, the more of these questions you do, you'll realise that for proofs involving square numbers, modulo 4 is quite a good choice to make because of the fact that square numbers can only be 0 or 1 in modulo 4. So the more of these questions you see, the more you'll gain an intuition for which modulos are good to try for different questions. If you want to see more funky number questions answered using modular arithmetic, check out the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more aesthetic, massy videos, do check out my channel and subscribe!